Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Justina, creator of Bohemia Magic Studios and today I'm going to show you how to make a cute little potted fairy garden. So we recently went to our local Lowe's nursery and we got a variety of very beautiful, colorful flowers and viney type of foliage. I'm not sure how this is going to work. I've never made a fairy garden before so I'm not really showing you how to make it. Um, this is kind of just trial and error for me and if it comes out good then you can use the same type of flowers, use different flowers. Flowers. If you have any suggestions on what type of flowers that you like to use in your fairy gardens, you can let me know. So this past Valentine's Day, my husband Avi got me a cute little fairy garden kit and that's what I'm going to be using to make my fairy garden today. This kit is from a small business called Wild Pixie, which he bought on Amazon. But I urge you to visit their adorable website, wildpixie.com, to purchase directly from them during this difficult financial time. This 13-piece, non-toxic, high-quality polyresin kit includes one solar glow-in-the-dark fairy house, a bridge, a fairy, a chair, a long bench seat, a bag of mixed glass and glow-in-the-dark stones, four stepping stones, and three toadstools, all lovingly packed into a beautiful gift box with instructions and lots of fun inside. This little kit actually comes with a little booklet, which is really helpful. It has step-by-step -step instructions on how to lay out your planter, as well as a visual representation of how it should all look. But don't feel locked into this, it's just an inspiration guide to help you get started. Be creative and lay it out however you like. There is also an instruction guide on how to select your plants and floral pieces, the types of containers you can use, care and upkeep tips, and also directions on how to activate the solar-powered house and rocks. And did I mention it comes with a cute little fairy tale about a curious little pixie named Thorn, which we will get to a little later. 5% of the proceeds from the purchase of this fairy garden kit goes to Thorn, which aims to ensure the safety of children from online predators all around the globe. Wild Pixie is a family-owned business with some cute little fairies of their own. So they do have an Instagram. You can check them out at, at @wildpixie and make sure to use the hashtag #lovemywildpixie. And um, yeah, they do give out prizes apparently if they like your creations with these little dolls here in making your fairy garden. So I'm finally gonna make my own little fairy garden today. I've had these pieces laying around since Valentine's Day, waiting for it to get warm enough outside so I can get in the garden and put this together. And I finally got some nice little flowers and stuff that I could put together in a terracotta pot. So let's head to the backyard and let's get started. So first I'm going to show you guys some of the plants that I got to put in this little fairy planter. The first one is a trailing annual called purslane and this is a um, beautiful little vine-like plant with cute little poppy looking blooms bright red and I thought those were really cute to like cascade over the side of the planter. The next one are these marigold like bright yellow flowers. These are probably going to go in the back. You want your uh, taller plants to go toward the back. These are golden sphere coreopsis and these need full sun as well as the purslane which also needs full sun. So it's really important when choosing your flowers for your fairy garden container that you choose all flowers that need the same growing conditions. So all the flowers I chose need full sun. And that's important because our pieces, remember, are solar powered, so they are going to need full sun. And I almost forgot that I have one more plant for my fairy garden and this is a blue diamond delphinium and this also needs full sun. This has really pretty bright purple blooms, um, nothing is bloomed right now. It's actually been sitting outside for quite a few days in the pot so it's starting to dry up on the end so I'm gonna have to deadhead these but there are some new buds coming in if you can see right there so once I get these planted I'm sure they're going to bloom really beautifully and also there's some yellow on here that I have to take off I also have these really cute super bells holy cow caliber choas which look like little peppermint twists and are sure to add some whimsical flair to any fairy garden 
But yeah, let's go out into the backyard and let's get started. I will be using this medium to large size terracotta pot which has a drainage hole on the bottom to rid of any excess water. Terracotta pots are relatively inexpensive compared to decorative ceramic and glazed pots. I found this one at Home Depot for around $16. Begin by filling your pot all the way to the top with a mixture of brown dirt along with some potting soil. I didn't fill my pot to the absolute brim, but rather left a couple inches between the dirt and the top brim of the pot. Now before planting our florals and foliage, it's time to lay them out in the pot along with your fairy kit pieces, just to make sure everything looks good and fits comfortably. And remember, there are no mistakes, so if you don't like something, you could just take it out and start all over again. Feel free to move things around and experiment with the pieces and plants in different positions until they look exactly how you want them to. Now that I'm happy with the layout of my flowers, plants, and fairy kit pieces, we can begin planting. You can leave in your fairy kit pieces as a guide and shift things around if you need a little more room. <laughs> done with my fairy house so now I'm going to relocate it to a sunny position on the deck. 
So go outside and make a little garden Hide a fairy for a little girl to find it Maybe you're the one to make her believe In all the beauty that she can't see now Once upon a time, there was a curious, smart, and fun-loving pixie. She loved rain as much as sunshine, breezy days as much as still. She was a very clever and wise little pixie, and believed that there is a wild pixie in us all. One day, she was out flying and playing when she found a spot so perfect that she wanted it for a home for herself and her friends. So she packed up all of her belongings, her house, her garden, and her furniture, and traveled across many miles until she reached her new home with you. Now, her journey has come to an end. Free Wild Pixie and give her a home, and in doing so, you may even free the Wild Pixie in you. Wild Pixie spreads the magic by helping to keep other little people safe. 5% of net profit is donated to Thorn. Hubby's brought me coffee. Mm. All right, everybody, so there you have it. There is my finished fairy garden in its final place in the sun. And there's a little window on the back of this little house here where it's gonna charge. And apparently these little things are light up too. So hopefully later at night, we'll be able to see these glow in the dark or light up. So thank you so much for watching. And if you wanna make a cute little fairy garden like this yourself, you could check out wildpixie.com. This one was purchased on Amazon. So you can also check out the Amazon link in the description down below. This video is not sponsored by the way. It was a gift from Avi, my husband. I love it. So if you guys want to see more fairy gardens on this channel, definitely let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to make more of those for you. Comment, rate, subscribe. Hope to see you guys on my channel again soon and enjoy the weather wherever you are. All right, bye. Thank you so much to my patrons, Megan Baker, Dee Carubia, Michelle Zeman, and Rachel Carter for making this video possible. If you would like to help support me on my creative journey, you can visit patreon.com slash bohemianmagicstudios. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you soon.